My name's Ben Tolson and I'm in Bucks Mills and I'm going to, my grandma and dad are going to talk to a lot about nature. Hello, I'm Grandad. I'm Grandma. Right then, let's go and have a look, see what we can see. Let's have a look. Now we've got all these flowers. These are all called nasturtiums, aren't they? <coughs> and why have we got lots of flowers? Then, because of the bees and because of the butterflies. And they've been in each bit, in each little piece, haven't they? And what they take out of it? Nectar and pollen. And then they spread it from one flower to the next flower to the next flower. And where else do they put it? Um. On these, runner bees. Now we've got runner bees <coughs> here. But it all used to be flowers. And the flowers turn to the runner beans, don't they? Yes? But what made it turn to the runner beans? The pollen. The pollen from where? From the bees. bees. And flies, yeah. The greenhouse. Now we used to have tomatoes, but it's late in the year now, isn't it? Yeah. And they've all gone. So now we got look. We've still got some bees looking and flies looking in there, up in amongst the flowers. That's why we grow flowers up amongst it as well, because it all spreads and we get everything there. Over here, we got cabbages. Now look, someone's been eating these. Aren't they? What's been eating these cabbages? Caterpillars. Caterpillars? And what do the caterpillars do? What do the caterpillars do? Eat the cabbage. And what do they turn into? Butterflies. Into butterflies. Oh, that's good. We can't find any caterpillars at the moment because who's eating all the caterpillars? Who's eating all the caterpillars? The birds, and why are they eating them? To get fat tummies, isn't it? Look, we do get the odds. We get the odd snail still climbing up on them, don't we? Yeah. Because they like to eat the leaves as well. But all this is part of nature, isn't it? And here, what have we got here? Yeah, and a snail. And a snail? What's he doing on there? Eating the raspberries. Eating the raspberries. Now, what do we do with him? Throw him away. <laughs> we don't want him eating all our raspberries, do we? Yeah. Open your mouth. Eat. <laughs> so we've got raspberries, but that's all thanks to the birds. Look at it. That's a nice one. <laughs> but that's all thanks to the birds and the bees. Everything's got to live together, hasn't it? What's that? And what we got over here, Ben? Oh, I'm lost him. Okay. What have we got over here? If we dig down. Let's have a look. Can we find anything under here? Not in that one. The soil is very dry because it's been a very good summer, hasn't it? Oh, what's this? A worm. And what's he good for? Making the plants grow. Making the plants grow, because what he does, we put him on the soil, and what he does is being loads and loads of little tunnels under I the ground. The there's another one there, is there? Oh, there's another one. No, it's a stick. <laughs> but what the worms do is build lots of tunnels under the ground, and so when it rains, all the rain, instead of being in one spot, it all goes off. Now what eats these? Yeah. And what else? Hedgehogs. They come out at night and they like to eat those. What else lives under the ground that likes them? Um. And builds hills. Moles. Moles. Love them. So we got stuff that live on the ground and under the ground, haven't we? But we need all of it, don't we? We need the birds, the insects, we need the worms and the moles and the hedgehogs. We need it all because otherwise we'd have no garden and we'd have no trees. We'd have nothing without all those little insects, the big insects, 
Nothing at all. Let's have a look over here. Here, what we got over here? <laughs> Rubbish. And what are we gonna do with all that? Burn it? Yeah. For bonfire night. But what are we gonna do before we burn it? We're gonna move it from there over to there. Why? After we burn all the flowers. And what could be hiding underneath it? Moles and hedgehogs. Hedgehogs. They love big heaps like that. So what we gotta do is make sure we don't burn it there. We gotta move it before we burn and make sure there's no hedgehogs underneath, don't we? Yeah. And so we help them sometimes because here we got a hedgehog hotel. Here's one of our little hedgehog hotels. No one in there at the moment. But come the winter, he will go all the way along there, curl up go to sleep all winter in there and that's why we put all the grass and rubbish over the top because it's just a nice house for him isn't it so ben what should you always do with nature look after always Good look after one. and what can we hear running down here and what's the stream made of water. and why do we need water to and the birds the plants the hedgehogs the fox the cows, everything in life needs water. We all must have water, mustn't we? So, what do you need to say to Granddad? And we've got a lot more to learn yet, haven't we? Yeah. A lot. But we must never be frightened of spiders. I don't like spiders, but I wouldn't hurt them, would you? It's not their fault, is it? They're a spider. Right, we better say bye. Give me bye. Bye. So next say week bye. you can learn about spiders. Next week you can learn about spiders. <laughs> <laughs>